Okay, so I have a story from my freshman year. And I had a friend who lived right across the hall from me. And there was one night that I came home at like 2 o'clock in the morning. And I like go to walk in my door and then he just like walks out of his door just standing there in Justice Boxers and I'm like, you all right, buddy? You good? And he's just like, nah, 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 nah. and I'm like, okay, cool. And then he just pees himself. And so now I'm standing there and he's just uh, standing in his puddle of his own piss, like on his rug. So I'm like, all right, I should probably do something because you're my friend, right? All right, cool. So then I took him, got him cleaned up, took a lot of embarrassing photos of him, put him back to bed, cleaned up the piss, good friend right there, cleaned up the piss so it wouldn't stain the floor or smell bad. He never got that drunk again, and he owes me like seven sandwiches, at least. So my freshman year at Guilford, my first month into school, I was uh, headed to bed, and I lived at the end of the hall on the third floor of Milner, right by the bathroom and a student who I had like met a few times, was an acquaintance of mine, he seemed like a pretty nice guy, walks out of the bathroom, uh, looks me dead in the eyes, and coughs and vomits all over himself, getting throw up all down his clothes and just all over, and he looks at me and he starts laughing to himself and then he walks away to his room covered in throw up and had a miserable week for the rest of that week, had to clean up everything in his room and hopefully really learned from this experience. So you don't want to be that person. You don't want to get too messed up. My freshman year, at the end of fall semester, there was a guy who wasn't actually coming back the next semester. But he, his last night, he was going from room to room in common spaces, which is where I was studying, and drinking out of his bottle and smoking cigarettes, which was not allowed and he started tearing things down, he made a dent in the wall, he broke a couple windows. It got to the point where I felt as though I had to keep my friends behind me because I was worried for their safety. I mean, you don't want to be that person. You don't want people to remember you like that. I just think everyone does a lot of crazy things. There was one party um, that I was there with all of my friends um, she was acting a little wild, so we're like, okay, it's, it's time to go, let's go home. Um, but she was your stereotypical, like, extremely intoxicated woman who was yelling about not wanting to leave the party. So we had to, like, literally drag her. So we're walking away. Um, one of my friends picks her, as a, her up and carries her, and she, like, starts hitting him and, like, yelling about, like, how he's stealing her. And I was like, okay, dude, you need to put her down or we're going to be arrested. So he puts her down and she, like, sprints away from us. Um, and I guess... That was my moment to be a really good friend and chase after her, but I'm just not a runner. So we let her, her run away, hoping that she would like return. Um, but the next morning we went to go look for her and like she wasn't in her room. So there was about a 10, 12 hour period where we had no idea where she was and we just called like the hospitals just because that could potentially have been where she went. Um, she was at one of the hospitals. Apparently she had run back to the party left the party and like walked to a gas station um, about like a mile and a half from the school and had the gas station owner call an ambulance for her and she went to the hospital and was just told she was really intoxicated and that was about it um, but it was really scary she didn't have alcohol poisoning like she got really alcohol wow <laughs> she got really lucky um, and but it was very clear that you need to like trust your friends we were telling her that it was time to go, um, and she was not listening. I think we need to bring back the leashes. That would be the way to, way to keep track of your friends. Just make sure you leave with all the people you arrive at the party with, because we didn't leave, we left without her, and she didn't come back, so. So the first time I went out my freshman year, one of my friends had way more to drink than any of us realized, and we were trying to go back at the end of the night he couldn't walk, he couldn't stumble, we had to literally carry his body across campus. And he lived on the third floor of Milner, so then we had to get half the football team to come carry him up to the top floor. Unfortunately, he doesn't go here anymore because he had too many cases of underage drinking, 
but just when you want to go out or participate or drink, just think about the impact that's going to have on you getting home at the end of the night and the impact that's going to have on your college career. So when I was the first year, the first week of school actually, uh, my friend at the time got super, super, super drunk and um, P-Safe showed up to her dorm room and we actually had to call the ambulance and call her out there and like pick her up and make sure she was okay. So she went to the emergency room and she got her stomach pumped. Hey guys, I just wanted to share a story from my junior year, which was last year. Um, my roommate, you know, we all went out as a group and she got made the decision to drink uh, significantly too much for her. Um, and she ended up getting extremely drunk, ended up alcohol poisoning, so the ambulance was called on campus. Um, news spread really, really fast. She was kind of the talk of the campus that first weekend. Everyone kind of knew who it was. Um, Yik Yak, Twitter, everyone was talking about who the person was in the ambulance at the old that night. Um, and she really doesn't remember too much other than pictures and videos that resurfaced of her falling downstairs breaking her heels, etc. Um, and after that, she was left with a $800 ambulance bill to give to her parents after just one weekend, realistically only one night um, of school that year.